Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to set up a CloudNX VPN and how to connect to it using a program called OpenVPN. Now you will need OpenVPN for this to work so if you haven't already go and download it from openvpn.net. There are two clients you can use. You can either use OpenVPN Connect or if you want something a bit more lightweight you can go to the community downloads and um, get the community version. Personally, I use the community version just because it's a little bit more lightweight. <clears throat> but as you can see here, there's not anything for uh, sort of some of the other OSs. So if you're on a Mac or anything like that, or you just want ease of use, um, you can use OpenVPN Connect and you've got the different operating systems that that's available for there too. So like I say, it doesn't really make any difference which one you use. Um, it's pretty straightforward either way. So I've already downloaded, I've got uh, both of them so I can show you how to use both of them. <clears throat> but uh, like I say, you can use the one of your choice. So first thing we need to do is set up our VPN. So we're going to go ahead over to Cloud and Xer and launch the panel. And then we are going to, when it's loaded, let's go over to Network and go to VPN. Now, it's really easy to add one. I've got a bunch here already, um, so I, I don't need to create one. Um, but if you want to create one, all you really need to make sure you do is make sure it's in the same data center region as your other as the servers you're going to be using to, uh, the VPN to connect to. Um, so typically, I would use United Kingdom. Once you, I'm not actually going to bother creating that because it takes about five minutes anyway. Um, but as we can see, as soon as you've created it, the status will go up to 100% here. And once it's gone green like that, it will be ready to use. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and connect to World Server Network. And literally, this is all there is to it once it's deployed. Um, and we can see here uh, the IPs that it's got assigned to it. And we can get the important part here, which is that configuration file. So if we go ahead and download that. Uh, it's just going to download the config file. I need to open VPN to the machine I'm working on at the moment, which is a Windows laptop. Okay, so we can see that has downloaded. So now, if we just bring up my downloads folder, which I've got on another screen, we can just go ahead and get what that file there. Uh, I've already downloaded one earlier, so it doesn't really make much difference. But the file you downloaded, um, just uh, extract to, well, wherever you want to extract it. But uh, I'm going to just extract it here into a folder. I'm going to replace all of that because, like I said, I've already done this when I was testing. So here we can see I've extracted that now, and I've got my, uh, I've got my, the file I need to connect to that VPN. So now what we need to do is use OpenVPN to connect. So like I so said, I've got, if, you, um, if you've installed the program and you're on a Windows machine, it's usually in the tray here. So I've got the OpenVPN GUI, which is the community version, and I've got the OpenVPN Connect. So if we just, uh, I'll just quickly show you in both, uh, just because it's pretty straightforward. So if you're in OpenVPN Connect, uh, you just click uh, on that settings there, and you can import and Go to File, go to Browse, and in my Downloads file folder, we've got the it's just loading. So we've got that file folder there, and we would just select that. I'm not going to select it because it's just it would connect. I'll connect using the other one. But there we go. We just click on that, click Open, and it should automatically connect you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this one as well. So this is the Open v v VPN GUI. So I'm going to right-click that. I'm going to go to Import, Import File, and again we go to Downloads, go to that folder I downloaded and extracted, and get that OVPN config there. So that's imported successfully. Perfect. So. This one doesn't automatically connect you, so we have to right click on it now that we again now that we've imported that and we're going to go to connect. You might find when you click on connect, you get a prompt saying you need admin rights, yeah, that would be expected. So don't worry, I don't think I will need that because I've previously done this. So connect no, like I say, that would sometimes give you a warning. So I'm just going to connect to that, don't have to do anything else. That should be it.
And there we go. If we just check there, we can see hovering with that. That has connected. And that's all there is to it. There we go. Perfect. So now I can connect to my, uh, my CloudNet servers like I was on the same network. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.